Well, it's uh, slightly different up to the uh, video, really. Um, Take it from the outside the south stand. It uh, was an interesting game, I could say, topsy turvy game. One great one for the neutrals, not one for. Uh, <laughs> Not a good one for the half. Finished Tottenham Hotspur four, Leeds United three, and uh, it really was just a case of uh, our our very good attack against our really rather poor defending. It was it started off quite badly really in the first few minutes where we were just all over the place defensively. They scored first after ten minutes. Um, an inside of pass between um, uh, it was threaded into right from Aronson, who was their best player, I'd say. Then in from Aronson between uh, Longley and, uh, and 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 Diabon looks a bit. That's what I saw. And um, yeah, so their player ran onto it. Um, Somerville uh, scoring right right down to Larissa's feet. Maybe he could have saved it. Who knows? But um, which was a poor start, poor defending throughout. In terms of in terms of play, we, we played all right. We didn't really create too many chances. I think for both sides we didn't really create anything outside of the goals really I'll just uh, show you a little bit of outside the whole stadium and uh, you can see everyone's coming out there kind of chilling there's a new fan zone area um, but yeah we then uh, equalise goal from Kane uh, corner coming in and uh, they try to claim that their, their keeper was fouled he wasn't really fouled he just got about muscled which was the case Kane then uh, Slight of foot and then buries it, makes it 1 1. And we did have a little bit more of the possession, you know, played very well with the possession with, with the ball, one would say. We actually did quite well, but not really incisive, didn't really do too much in terms of uh, attack, but but neither did Leeds, but they scored from their second uh, important attack, really. They kind of uh, they played well, excuse me, <laughs> in defense, what happened, they would play, play quite well. In terms of going forward, they were, I mean, they were quite tricky going forward. They got well. They then made it two-one. Um, it was just poor, poor defending throughout. All defending. The, the ball gets headed out. I can't remember who it was, but I want to say Darwin but had the ball. It didn't go very far, and then it just landed at the feet of um, I want to say Aronson again, but he was in acres of space as he played the ball through, and uh, easy again. Great possibilities. Two-one. That's how it was at half time. Other than that, not much to not much to say. Really, the second half um, was kind of bitty. Leeds obviously coming forward when they had the chance to uh, waste a bit of chart time. They did, and as you can see, everyone just uh, looking around. It's kind of cool. Not too bad. I've never been here after the game. We've usually just uh, gone straight home because it's been that kind of been that kind of atmosphere. But as you can see a few of the, a few of the fans there enjoying a drink and a drink or two. Not too bad at all, but uh, yeah, they took the lead. Oh, sorry, we equalised a goal from um, quite a good shot from Davis, but uh, we had, had a couple of def um, deflections, which uh, kind of uh, troubled them, and then troubled the players on the line. Really, that was two-two. It wasn't the kings of strikes, but it was the equaliser. What can I say? And then, and it got more bitty, really. Well, I say bitty. I mean, in terms of, it just became a midfield battle, really. But they had. But they kind of play, uh, applied the pressure quite a bit, you know, uh, coming forward. They just, they're one touch football, they're quite incisive, it's quite good. You know, I enjoyed watching them. It was, you know, if it wasn't against us, I'd enjoy watching them. But they then scored 3 2, which, you, which you'll probably see tonight, you know, a match of the day or whatever. They, it was a foul on Rodrigo, Bentico, a foul in the, in the center, in the center circle. The referee played on, as, a, as he's been doing, I mean, let a lot of things go tonight. Let a lot of things go, and he let that one go when he should have been done. That was playing inside, and then um, from then they just uh, came through, came forward, and scored. Chop shots right across the uh, the, the uh, six-yard box, right past Maurice, three-two. Yeah, yeah, literally that. And then, um, well, then we rallied as we always seem to do when we're behind in the second half. Uh, Benton score, Benticus scoring, making it 3-3, that was good, that was in the last 10 minutes, and then two minutes later, lovely footwork by Kurt, I tell you, I just want to ignore that uh, strike by, by Benton Kurt, really, because I don't want to get onto the last one, by Kulusevski, who, you got to say, was a man in the match, he had, he did, a, made a lot of things tick today, a lot of things tick, um, he just went past the, 
the pass of the last of the the byline, chopped it back to Rodri, who then had the easiest task of sliding into an empty net, 4-3. And then they had a player sent off. Um, who, I can't remember the name, but uh, he was already booked beforehand. I'm just going to check quickly. But he was already booked beforehand, and... Uh, and it was Tyler Adams actually who was sent off. They were down to 10 men, three minutes to go. And uh, after that happened, it was game over. We then kept the ball a bit more and uh, Leeds had nothing to do. I mean, what I will say is, what I will say, I mean, it was 4-3. Yes, got the win. It's three points. It is what it is. I'm not really that, uh, can't really say that I was excited about that. I mean, people saying great game, what an exciting game. I'm just annoyed about the piss ball defending more, poor defending. That's literally what it was, more poor defending. Again, poor defending, and some people are trying to bl are blame, blame Lloris for the first one. Maybe he was right the right way, so maybe he could have done a little bit better, who knows. <sighs> but, you know, I wanted to address the whole Emerson hate, really. There was a guy behind me who was basically giving him dogs abuse. Yes, he didn't really help himself with a couple of uh, opportunities where um, he had the ball on the right flag. I think he was trying to pass it over to um, Perisic on the left, but the ball was woefully short and just landed with <laughs> someone in the, mid in, in the midfield. That was poor. A couple of other opportunities. I don't think it was at full for the first goal, though. People in the group were trying to blame him for, the, for that one. It was a ball that was played inside of um, Long Lane and uh, Dyer. Trying to say that he was out of position, that's a lot of rubbish. But you know, he was substituted and then he got a round of applause for being substituted, and that was that's just for me, that's just poor. I mean, that just kind of harks back to the, a spur, the Spurs back of the late 90s where we just boo our own players willy nilly. And I guess it's just not the Spurs I kind of thought that uh, we, we, we had evolved into, but it looks like we're regressing. In many ways, we're regressing off the, on the pitch, so uh, yeah, why not regress off the pitch as well? That was just disgusting in my view, really. But it is what it is. But, um, you know, he had an opportunity to make it, um, I think, 1 1 with a strike. But he came onto it very, very fast and uh, blasted it over, and uh, from then on, his confidence was shot. So it is what it is. But uh, yeah, players I will give props to Kulusevsky. My man in the match, Kane, apart from his goal and a couple of opportunities, was very quiet. Richarlison didn't really make his mark there, although you could say he was half fit from his injury. And um, other than that, no, nothing really, nothing really to go home about. We didn't really play at all well, although you know, Spurs fans are understandably uh, upbeat. You know, you get a, you snatch a victory for the jaws of defeat. It is what well, it is, but uh, we've got a lot to work on, especially when you win a game 4 3. It's not really that good. But uh, final score here at the Tottenham Hospital Stadium, majestic Tottenham Hospital Stadium, here in the evening. It is finished. Tottenham Hospital 4, Leeds United 3, and thank goodness that the World Cup is starting now because we, need to, we have to work on a hell of a lot. A hell of a lot. But thank you all for watching. Ah. And we move.